Scorpio, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. Welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. Okay, beautiful soul. So it looks like there's a little bit of frustration on your journey, and it might be feeling a little bit... Like you're unable to see where the universe is pointing you next. And that feeling can be very frustrating, frustrating and that feeling can be very, um, uh, that feeling can be very overwhelming at times because we know we want to do certain things. We want to achieve certain things, but we just are feeling so dense. We're feeling so stuck. We're feeling like there are just so many obstacles for us to overcome in these situations and we just don't even know how to move forward. Whatever it is, we feel like we have so many things that are stacking against us. We have so many journeys. We want to, we, so many results. We want our relationships to feel good. We want a relationship. We want to feel good in our bodies. We want to, you know, have, have, um, you know, lots of money. We want all these things, right? We want all these things and we're realizing I'm here. Here's where I want to go. That's a big gap, right? It feels overwhelming and it can feel daunting and it can feel frustrating at times. One thing that we really want to encourage you to do is to try to, here we have this bedtime with friends card. Now we want to really encourage you to try to really be open-minded and aware of your energy when you are around other energy beings. And when, remember always this, right? Is that the energy that you surround yourself with is going to be the energy that you feel and, and encompass. And so Sometimes, you know, we're, 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 we're called to do certain things and sometimes we're not. When you're called to spend time with friends or spend time with somebody or listen to somebody or you're inspired by somebody, that's the truth. There's truth in that. But when you spend time with people to get away from something or to avoid something, there's going to be a disconnection. There's going to be some uh, difficulty with that because you're going to... When we do something out of an emotional response, we become energetically attached and not in a positive way to that, to that situation. It really means we absorb things that we're not really looking to absorb. You know, we're, we're, we're listening to in, uh, influences that aren't going to help us because we are in a low state because we've made an emotional choice. When we make an emotional choice and do something, then we're feeling emotional. So everything we do, we can't trust ourselves and it ends up stacking up against us. And the difficulty is that we end up feeling very confused more than we feel rejuvenated. And that's why we always say, if you feel called to be around your friends and be around other beings, there's truth in that. But if you're not, you're kind of just doing it to avoid, or you're kind of doing it to fill space or because you're bored then that's going to, that, that may even cause more problems just because, you know, more confusion, we should say. So we see here that you're feeling a little bit confused about a, a particular new opportunity or a particular path in life and just feeling like, how do I make this happen? And how do I keep this, keep this going? And we just want to remind you that it's consistency with the, with, with making a choice and remaining consistent, right? So just saying yes to something, if you want to say, you know, feel healthier in your body, you just got to say yes, spirit, yes, guide me. I want to lose weight. I want to feel healthy. I want to feel alive. I want to feel energized. I want to have, you know, energy to be around, you know, you know, help and, and serve and do everything that I want to do and have my family and whatever it is. Yes, yes, yes. And then surrender to wherever spirit guides you, right? Just be a chameleon, blend in to the environment and to where spirit is now pointing you, right? If you feel cold to do certain things and, and behave in certain ways, you know, there's a reason for that. And so we encourage you to have a journal for this process. That way you can record the puzzle pieces. You can record where spirit's guiding you. And that way you can reflect on your journey. So it's less confusing. You, you kind of can see where things are kind of flowing and it's much easier for us. Now, one, um, practice that you can have, and it's very, very success. It's gave me great success. And, uh, I showed my husband about it and it's, Work for him too. Works for him. It works for everybody. Let me tell you what. So what you can do is this. If you have any limiting beliefs or any fear on your journey around anything, right? Just feeling anxiety, feeling fear at all. What you want to do is you want to visualize light or energy in your heart space. Now there's two ways you could do this. You could visualize white coming in through your crown chakra and into your heart. 
But if that's just not resonating, what you can do and what worked for my husband is visualizing a shooting star coming straight at your chest and poof, going right into your chest, right? The shooting star. Now your whole heart space is lit up, right? It's lit up. It's warm. It's light. You have all the shooting star energy. You feel powerful. And then any limiting belief you have, any negative belief, you shoot that shooting star energy right at it. And you say, I send love. You see a behavior that you don't like and you want to go into a limiting belief. You send love, right? You see something that you're not comfortable with. You send love. You feel anxiety. You send love. You send love to everything. Sending love will cure everything because it's love that heals. It's love that transmits and transmutes. And it's love that allows us to get back into our grounded state and recognize where spirit is guiding us. Your affirmation is my life gets better by change, not chance. And this message reads, you can wait for your life circumstances to change, but this does not happen by chance. Everything you have ever done in your life is part of an orchestrated plan. You get to conduct your masterpiece. When you put everything you have learned into play, you create deep, rich experiences that reward your soul. Change in your life comes from you taking action. And this affirmation reads, I, I make calculated moves forward in my life to create positive change. Everything I experience is my choice, and I choose to make choices from inspiration and love. That's the key. You got to make choices from inspiration and love. But if we're fear, fearful around the journey, and if we're having limiting beliefs around this journey, um, then having uh, practices that can regain our centeredness will help us. So sending love, having a journal, writing down, well, what did I learn from this experience? That's a big one for me. When I feel a lot of anxiety and I feel like I did something wrong and I feel like I made the wrong choice, I feel like, uh, you know, I messed up, I'm going backwards, any of those things that we feel like because of an energy. We just send love to that situation and we just ask, what did I learn from this situation? Where am I, where am I headed? You know what I mean? Or not even where am I headed? Just what did I learn? That's, that's good enough. What did I take from it? Now moving forward. Now the key is to move forward. And with the star card, it's letting you know that positive results are awaiting you. But we want to remind you that if you're ever in a lower frequency where you are experiencing limiting beliefs and you're experiencing confusion and uncertainty, Give yourself permission to let go of trying to figure it out and can, and just get back into the flow of, of, um, satisfaction and joy. So, um, anything that you don't want to do because you're in a low state, right? You're, you're feeling mopey, you're feeling limited, you're feeling confused. Maybe you might be feeling tired. That's where you make that choice. That's going to make you feel better. Even though you don't want to do it, you get up and you go for a walk, you go for that exercise, right? You, you read something, you, whatever it is that you, you gets you out of that, that leaves you feeling satisfied. That's what you go and do. Because even though we don't want to do those things, that's what gets us out of the low frequency is to do the things that we don't want to do. We just got to keep moving forward, says that nine of wands. Have faith in the process. You are on your way, Scorpio. Have faith in the process. And right now, you're just laying, getting a foundation, uh, you know, um, kind of being brought into your awareness of the things that you really love, right? So basically, when you focus on doing things that you love, eventually, over time, these compound and you have this marvelous, beautiful schedule, kind of, you know, where your life just kind of aligns with everything that you choose to do. I realize that I like to wake up at, you know, early, and then I like to do this, and then I like to do this. You kind of realize, you collect the pieces, you build this foundation of how you like your life to be, you see. And so uh, just trust in what you're called to do. We do have the music card. For some of you, you may be new musicians or you may be um, really talented with um, learning a new skill and maybe practicing music or learning a certain skill with music might be something that you're being guided towards or maybe you're guided towards you know you find music makes you really happy you know but you feel like you only you your condition has been to only listen to music when you want to dance and maybe you don't feel like dancing but you like music well maybe you know when you feel like you know you need to upgrade your frequency or when you need to refocus maybe just put on some of your favorite music without feeling like you need to dance right Re like almost disconnect associations you know what I mean uh, sometimes I will just put on music and then that music will inspire me to get up and clean my house or go and exercise or or connect with spirit but music really does help us kind of open up our um, awareness so if you're ever feeling stuck just put on some nice music put on music that whatever energy you want to feel put on music that will match that if you're feeling a little bit low put on some upbeat jams so you can get up and you can kind of feel the energy from it Universe's message, yeehaw, universe says, when it comes to choosing who will be in your life, I recommend valuing their yeehaw quality above all others. Have it your way. Special orders don't upset us. If you're at all wondering about, uh, you know, a relationship, you know, getting to a place where it's 
balanced and romantic and harmonious and you guys communicate well and, and maybe you want a partner like this, that all boils down to, I promise you, I promise you the relationship you have with yourself, a beautiful soul. If you find yourself tight, rigid, serious, stressed, worrying, overthinking, you have emotions stored in your body from previous experiences and this will hinder that ability to reconnect or to attract in the partner that you're looking for. I always say it's step number one is to connect back to the body and recognizing that any tightness in the body, right, that's stored emotion. And so we can do different things like go on cleanses, like raw food cleanses, mono meal cleanses, exercise, yoga. Yoga is very, very beneficial for breathing into those tight spots and releasing that stored energy. It's very healing yoga. As we know, it's very frustrating yoga sometimes. That's why it's healing because anything that frustrates and challenges us is what heals, right? That's why going on these cleanses for the body and, and, and having the intention to purify the body, this eliminates those stored emotions and it will help us to be able to perceive our um, guidance much easier. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.